welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. This is episode 121, and today I'm telling you all about why I'm done with my perfect, and I'm putting air quotes around that, business. I want to talk about January 2021, just last month. It was eventful in terms of like, I was hobbled by some seriously stabbing back pain. I couldn't walk. I was trying all the things to fix my back pain. And then, oh, I forgot about this part. I totally freezer burned my butt trying to take care of it and icing it. And I literally got freezer burn on my butt. And then I dropped uh, this huge heavy measuring tape and broke my pinky toe, which was so dumb. And then I got diagnosed with COVID. And then two days later, my husband got the call that he was also positive. So basically, we relegated our kid to uh, feral child status because we both had to be in literal isolation. So when I finally emerged, and I mean, COVID took it out of me, I was really out of it. And my car battery (laughs) died because by the time I got out of it, I hadn't been on my car for so long. So I'm like, what is going on? This smells a lot like 2020. And in order to get through, I had to ask for help. And that was scary. And I really, you know, I was really blown away by how people showed up. But I had a lot of fears around my business during that time, because I was like, I can't see clients, everything's gonna die, it's all gonna go to hell. And frankly, my clients and my audience were incredibly generous. And frankly, my team had everything all in place and was taking care of all the things anyway. So I was really struggling because COVID got to me in a way that I wasn't expecting because I had been following all the rules all along. In my state in New York, Things have been incredibly stringent here. And I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't done anything. I didn't break any of the rules. I always wear a mask. I like, I followed all the rules and I got COVID anyway. And I was really pissed when I got COVID. And I'll talk about this in another podcast in the future, but I really, I was like ashamed when I got COVID and I was angry and I was like, but I have followed all the rules and it didn't work out for me. And it was kind of a big aha that slapped me upside the head, which was, I have not had fun in a year. I have been perfectly following all the rules, but I haven't had fun because I was following the rules. And I was like, where else in my life am I doing this? Where else am I following the rules and making things not fun? And I realized, like, I think a lot of us do this in our business because we're we're taught that there are perfect ways to do things. This is the way you do a launch. This is the way you start a membership. This is the way you do your coaching program or whatever it is for you. This is the way. Here's how other people did it. And what I learned in January, 2021 was clearly there is no one right way to do anything. So I wanted to talk to you today in the podcast about I think we can stop thinking that it needs to be perfect before we put it out into the world. And that's why like way ahead of me having anything perfect, I decided to launch both a workshop and a membership in the end of January, 2021. Now it is not pretty. It is not perfect. It is not beautiful. And I did it anyway. It it took some work, but I didn't, I don't even have like the energy because of all the crap that happened in January to do anything beautiful. Like I don't had, I didn't have a beautiful sales page written and I didn't have all the emails and all of the launch emails and all, I didn't have everything in place. I kind of had to put it out there, tweak it, put it out there and tweak it. Would it maybe have been less work to do it the quote unquote right way? Probably a hundred percent. Yes. But I just didn't have the energy. And so I wanted to check in with you Where are you waiting for everything to be perfect before you're taking any action at all? Like, is there something that you really want to get out into the world, but you keep saying, oh, I don't have all of my email sequence quite done yet. The tech isn't 100% ready. The sales page isn't 100% beautiful. I haven't had it, had it edited. I'm just wondering, where are you doing the same thing I'm doing? Because I want you to know when you wait And when you wait for it to be perfect and you're like keeping it from the world, you are really not only doing yourself a disservice, but you're doing a disservice to your audience who really 
they might be really willing to meet you right where you are. I have found that being really overt with my audience members about like, hey, I don't have this down pat, that people have been like joining anyway. And I wonder like, oh, can we rewrite the rules to fit ourselves and our audience members? And so I just, I this is going to be short and sweet today because I think there's probably some place in your life where you're either making it harder than it has to be, you're waiting for perfection. Maybe you're like me, a recovering perfectionist, or maybe you haven't even gotten into recovery yet. Maybe you're still really struggling with perfectionism. But I don't know, January 2021, I realized if it's not fun, I don't want to do it anymore. So I am launching this membership And the reason I'm even talking about it is because I'm excited because it will be fun. Getting on a call and teaching people a bite-sized training for how to make content better, that's super fun for me because I'm a teacher, right? Getting on a call and answering questions about people's confusion about content, that's super fun for me. And offering a roadmap for people to help them stay out of overwhelm, that's super fun for me. And that's what's going to happen inside this membership. So I would love to invite you in. We're launching in February. It's a soft launch and I am doing a founding membership at $37 a month. And yes, you can cancel anytime you want. Do I suggest you stay on? Yes, because honestly, I keep realizing how much there is to learn about content creation. And Even though COVID drained my energy for the marketing of it, the program is all planned out and we're ready to go and we're just going to do it together. And so I wanted to invite you today to, first of all, ask yourself, where in your life can you let go of perfectionism? Because I promise you, it's not going to be as fun (laughs) as you think it's going to be. And what do you need to do in your life that will give you a little more ease and fun How can you stay out of the overwhelm? How can you stay out of the analysis paralysis that perfectionism brings to us? I just keep going back to that thought where I really got angry about it. Like I did the COVID rules perfectly and I got it anyway. And if you are thinking that your business has to be perfect or your content has to be perfect before you put it out, I'm asking you. Content creation can feel easier. How can you approach content creation and something else in your life, like the experiment that it all is? So I invite you to join us in the Content Creators Studio membership. You go to jenliddy.com forward slash studio and you can sign up there. The first thing we're actually going to talk about in February are the top five mistakes of content creation. But when you join, you get so much more than that and you get access to the workshop that I gave. You get access to me. You get access to a community. And if you have any questions, go ahead to my website, jenliddy.com and ask them there. But I would love to invite you to let go of perfectionism and jump into something that might feel fun for you. I hope this is helpful. I hope this is what you needed to hear today, but I'm guessing that it is because it always works out that we hear the exact thing that we need to hear. I'll see you next week. Thank you.